Good evening, everybody. I'm going to share the screen there and we'll dive right in. It is indeed 6 p.m. and we are on for the Monday clinic, ideally weekly, every Monday evening. This one I intend to make public, so I won't be sharing anything regards the uh, the latest strategy or anything like that. Uh, so ideally, if you want to ask me about that, ask me in a private message later and we'll talk about it later. Um, or, 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 you know, we can catch up in the sessions uh, in the week with those. So today, what I want to discuss is how do we use the daily trading plan and our business plan to cause a great improvement in our results? Uh, I have them both open here and for many years I've preached and banged on generally about how dangerous we become once we follow our daily trading plan. So there are the documents. This one on the left here, the daily trading plan, it needs no introduction. It is exactly what it says it is. And at the top, the first, so you count that as a paragraph, the first three paragraphs, all we're talking about in there is what you're going to trade when are you going to trade it, what times and what pips are you looking for, what is your target, below the obey the rules you can't really edit that, it's the standard stuff, move through the gates, follow three strikes, don't enter late, remember the strongest signals when multiple time frames are crossing and follow only the strong signals, valid signals with your chosen strategy, focus on your charts not your balance and beware of the speed bump, all the usual stuff, not an in there that you would expect to be a brand new I would think, well I would hope anyway. Um, so the documents are open to, for, for a reason and I'd like you all to think and or reflect on an average one-to-one -one session conversation here. Generally, I mean generally as in much more often than not, I'm presented with a candidate who slipped and suffered a loss, maybe even a losing streak. We discuss the usual, what we are using for your entry and of course the subsequent exit strategy and many reasons, and I'll do reasons in inverted commas, are offered to me for the loss or the losses and the usual, well then this and that happened and I taught and blah 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 etc. Lastly, and I do mean lastly, I may leave it and ask the question, I might not, um, but I ask it sometimes of someone who really believes that you know, the strategy or the markets were out to get them. I ask, how did those things all fit into your daily trading plan? All the actions you took, they're all written in that plan, are they? No, of course not, of course not. Generally, the red mist descends and then you won't even follow the, the three strike rule and follow me after, uh, phone me, I mean, after uh, strike three. But generally, once a trader goes off the rails, it's the absence of rules or the inability to stick to or follow the rules that you agreed with yourself because you wrote that daily trading plan or edited it to suit yourself. Um, you know, yourself, you made them for yourself and then you won't follow them. I was chatting with a friend of mine just yesterday and we were talking about, um, you know, the difference between learning to drive and learning to trade. And I said, I don't recall ever speaking to a driving instructor who says, oh yeah, sure, I told him where to hide the beer cans. Oh yeah, sure, I told him where to throw the telephone and what to say if he got caught texting while he was driving. You know, you were never told that you could use your phone while you were driving. So... You know, there are rules and you need to stick to the ones that you agreed to follow yourself. Um, if you were a driver, it would mean penalty points and a fine, obviously, with trading. There is no limit to the fine that the markets can impose. And, and yeah, okay, no, I trade with a stop loss. But if you keep making the same mistake over and over again, the stop loss really won't matter because you'll keep losing the same stop loss over and over again. I would like you all to reflect on that, please. And then also, please, always, always follow your plan. And further, I need to add that the race is long. And as a trader, it really is only with yourself. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. And I'm aware that you, at least one of you, um, I'll leave him nameless, reached out to... Um, 
others in our community to enquire further. Yeah, I, I don't mind. They did tell me. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter what, other, what others in the group... I know what you got told as well. It doesn't matter what others in the group or the realms generally of the trading community and world are doing. It matters how you react to what happens on your charts and how you handle your own emotions. No revenge, no FOMO, no distractions. Only discipline and patience applied to one good strategy. And I'd also like to add, I kind of need to add since I've said it and gone there, I'm nobody's trained monkey. I have traded with members of our groups in person, in boardroom environments. I can think of the Seven Oaks in Carlo. I can't remember who amongst you were in there, but there were some of you in there. I can think of Heathrow and um, certainly Dublin on many occasions in the boardroom environments and even at my home office right here. So if you attempt to demand that level of service, you can remember that things have changed loads. Um, I've eased back a lot and I've made that clear in the sessions. I do a lot less these days than I used to. I don't need it anymore. I've done it. That's it. Yes, exactly. Even in, a, in Menorquette with you right there. And thanks for that. I appreciate you saying that. Um, but uh, what I would like you to do is... Um, Ask, if you attempt to demand that level of service, ask why you think you need that. Why do you need it? Strategy not working for you? I very much doubt that. I do. Still in demand then? Perhaps this group isn't best suited to you. I don't know. Watching me might not help. In the past, it seems to have caused damage to some who may not then have been ready. As always, I'm open to questions, but we will, of course, have a quick glance at the business plan since it's open here. The business plan is yours to edit. You trade profitably and successfully for how long? And add to that, what for? What are you doing it for? And I mean literally, put in a full stop at the end of that. So I'll go F2, I'll go full stop and I'll say in order, in order? order two what is it you want you know uh, a friend of mine and i were chatting some time ago and he said to me um someone says to me if you were making that money the only choice is whether to lease or buy a ferrari and we both laughed i knew what he was thinking he knew what i was thinking they're fucking uncomfortable they really are uncomfortable oh yeah they look pretty to get in and okay when you're in it it holds you nice and that's that's all right but get in and you're going to go click, crack, click, especially at my age. Try, try and get out. And I use the word try, not lightly. So lease or buy one, not a, not a hope, not a chance, not interested, no thank you. Perhaps if I was a 18 to 25 or 26 year old, I'd consider it not interested right now but for me i know what i want so that bit on mine is filled in and your mission yeah follow the strategies implement them day by day don't make any changes and if you do as you know you've got to back test it for 12 months objectives well it's obvious you're here to generate profits from trading the markets do it properly try the closed bar to closed bar exercise if you've been struggling and remember discipline is what it takes that is all the strategies you've many choose one but one and if you have a bad day on one stick with it day two day three and so on until you've got a proper result and a fair measure you should be doing it demo anyway until you're sure that it's the one you'll work to the daily trading plan this thing over here rinse and repeat every day that's all your key decisions this is where it does say um if you change a strategy, you've got to back test it for a full 12 months. Ideally, then live trade it and do the closed bar to closed bar exercise on your chosen tweak and make sure that it's operational and working. Manage the trades using trailing and manage stops. I'm not a fan of trailing stops, but that's me. Again, your competition isn't me, it's you. So what suits you? I know many of the members use trailing stops and it works well for them. 
The decisions on entry, not yours to make. It really isn't your choice. The various indicators tell you which direction you can go and whether you're going to buy it now or not. That is all. Or sell it now or not. It's not your choice. That's all. And then, of course, we factor in costs, people costs, if you have them, and any new ideas, by all means, edit the hell out of this document. The income values. This is where some people go off the rails as well and get outlandishly um, dreamy or, or, or let's say, rose-tinted glasses eyes, if you like. Trading pips, 8,000, okay, at an average of £10 a pip. Well, you've all seen the Gates system. So that average is quite conservative for year one. It will give you 80,000 bucks. How does it boil down? It's 200 pips a week is what it is. 40 pips a day, five days a week, if you do five days a week. That's it, 200 pips in a week. It's designed to replace your job. And then it's still quite conservative because at least three of our members have done that in year one. Now, you didn't ask them, did you? But uh, they are known, and one of the guys you asked knows one of them quite well, actually. He's met both of them, but he knows one. There it is. They're there. It's not up to me to say, oh, it's this guy and it's that guy. They choose to, to name themselves or not it's choice a lot of people like myself are quite private about what they're doing you know there you go thomas writes i like a big trailing stop and to follow i'm going to say yellow brick road because remember i'm not publishing i'll make this one public so thanks for that thomas if you get a big wick my trailing stop will jump up before anything will update well done excellent so there you go. That's like a forecast. You can put in a forecast here and it's an accounting term. What do we think is achievable in these years going forward? Nice one. Codified. Yeah, I like it. I'm a coder now. And then um, you, you, you extrapolate, if you like, the data from your forecast and match it against your income. And you will end up then with maybe a year when you can quit. Because someone asked me the question... Um, how do I measure or how will I know when I'm safe to quit my job? And we said, actually, we're going to talk about this in the, in the forthcoming educational. So here you go. It is being recorded and you will be able to review this. When that profit there, and I don't mean, oh, hey, I made a win today of a thousand bucks. Did you withdraw it? Oh, no, it's working capital. Well, then it doesn't count. And we'll go on to the next part to show you that. You've got a total revenue couple with, with your trading and your um, realized profits and your expenses and then you know where you're going to be at the end of year one two three four five etc here then is the ideal drill down scenario where you can measure where and by when you will be able to quit your job you have a regular salary assuming you have a regular salary it is x okay and it's x january x february x march and so on and it's always going to be x maybe you have a rental income maybe you drive a taxi at weekends or deliver pizzas or whatever it is maybe you've got another job maybe and you trade or you wouldn't be watching this ideally so when that number there equals that and that combined on a consistent at least three month basis you then need to check your bank balances and decide have they grown by such a level that i have at least three to six months savings accumulated from trading related activities and if you have somewhere in between three and six months savings put together from your trading profit, then it's time to kick this thing into touch. It's time to go delete and it's done. That's it. It's about then. Some people have done it in um, two weeks. Some have done it in six weeks and it varies. Everybody is different. Now that figure, where does it come from? You see there where it says withdrawals? Once you withdraw the funds from your broker account, so you started with an amount, maybe you had to top it up, maybe you didn't, but you won something, you lost something, and that number grew ideally, and you know what you need in there to be able to trade at X amount per pip, which equals your weekly salary or monthly salary or what have you. Then when you withdraw that money, it is safe from the broker and it goes into that column and when or that 
row and when those rows when the numbers in there have more X's in them than those rows have it's time to say I need to focus more on this row and put more effort into this row now on feedback um, I got some feedback from someone who will uh, remain nameless and he wrote uh, I was trying to do your exercise uh, I might be one of those noddies you referred to in the trading code and you might remember if you read my book uh, the noddy the most difficult member of the group that we can um, that we can deal with why because they're able to listen to you they're able to look you in the eye and nod as if they understand everything those are the noddies okay so he writes six pips in the first week a hundred pips in the next which i thought was a substantial improvement i would agree yes then the third week i start without with 30 pips or so and then and here's that explanation i was talking about something happened no no clarity on that by the way something happened what the red mist descended you pooed your pants f farted and it, it sent you out your office it was so bad what, what what happened i don't know what happened what happened i made a bad decision and then another and then another and i ended up the week with 150 pips negative no strike three then no no phone and me that that's when you choose to to ring me you know when it's all gone to to poo no excuses no discipline at all and that's his words i get too focused on price action i zoom in too far from the bigger picture after i get proven wrong once or twice currently moving so i won't be trading this week okay so personal issues fair enough yeah i'd like to go over my results well, yeah when 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 we'll do that no problem i believe it's not my technical skill but rather my mindset that is the issue yeah well there's clues in what you wrote isn't there you don't have to be a genius to see it you don't even need to read between the lines just read the lines right there you did well something happened that's what says it all to me there something happened well yeah all righty then i want you to know that i'm committed to this and i'm doing the homework that's not enough it's knowing is not enough even doing the homework is not enough you still must apply because i can pass me driving test and then go and get rat assed totally drunk as a skunk and still get behind the wheel of my car and drive it yeah is that discipline no does that mean i know how to drive well it doesn't mean i don't know how to drive got my license i can drive yep absolutely but should i in that state no of course not so what's the key word discipline discipline you didn't apply what it was that you knew and then he says i'd always been a good student in school so it's difficult for me to be at the bottom of the class from an ego standpoint i wrote back um and i've of course i logged out the message to see i wrote back it's probable that the ego 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 issue is the major hurdle to be overcome and and that's the probable that's the, the reality of it you know many many people allow their ego to get the better of them many people allow their opinion to get the better of them many people allow a minor belief that they think oh i think this and um and yeah okay How's that working out for you? You've all seen the sessions, and I'd like at least one of you to be able to remember. I think Wednesday, maybe Thursday, one of those is a, is a very good example where there was a sell off in the market, and I said, No, I'm looking to go long. And it went trickle, trickle, trickle. It trickled down a lot. I said, No FOMO, no FOMO, let it go. I'm looking for a long. I'm not going in, let it go long okay it hit a level i told you well now it's at that it's done this it's done that when it does that next thing i'm going long and what did we get off it we scored we did exactly exactly yeah we got pips didn't we there and what weren't they relaxed easy unemotional calm pips that's the difference between trading a strategy and trading the oh sh1t it's going down method that's the reality or the sh1t it's going up method 
we traded our strategy and we said chip choppy chip at the open and we were staying out of it now it's picked its direction but we'd be late so we're leaving it alone and then we watch for all the usual suspects the divergence the rejection of a line and what indeed turned out to be a great signal and we got the pips thank you for that claude it was indeed a great day again there will be doubters you know i don't care I started trading in 2004. If you think I haven't heard a doubter before, yeah, alrighty. Other people's opinions of me are absolutely none of my business whatsoever. And I sometimes allow it to get to me for about 90 seconds. And then I think, oh, stuff them. And, and, all, and that's it. And that is the right way to be. You have to do what is right for you. For you, the individual trader, if I tell you something, like on that day when I said, we're waiting for this and we'll wait for the long and we'll wait for the long, if that didn't sit well with you, you can either log out and not listen to me or you can do your own thing. Absolutely. I can't force you to do what I'm doing. That's the, the beauty of our sessions. You have choice. I believe that's what's great about our sessions. Um, and then for... I won't even worry about saying that because this one's being recorded. I was going to say all the all the heavy stuff's behind me now. We broke the news to Stacey that Sally uh, has passed away and uh, we took her away for the weekend and we had a lovely weekend away and uh, she seems to be okay through it. So we should experience a nice, sensible, easy week with no pressure next week. Excepting, remember, I will say no Thursday because it is um, Thanksgiving. And yes, I could work Thanksgiving. We, we've traded it before. We did well on the DAX. But if them Americans are taking the day off, why should we work? No offence to them and all that. But if they're getting the day off, I'm getting the day off. Sorry, mates. <laughs> otherwise all normal as always now in the last bit of the session questions does anyone have anything to ask we are 22 minutes into i am recording it i will upload it and obviously the shorter the recording the best all about mindset this week it really is how can we improve using just a couple of documents well use them is the bottom line it's no good having them you must use them and all the other YouTube recordings, the ones that you guys have got that are private to you, only available for the members, it's, they're there to be used. Make use of them. If you can't find one, let me know. I'll send you another one, you know, it's if you're struggling. Is there one on a topic that you particularly interested in you don't know? Ask me. That's it. There you go, Claude. I'm Canadian. I work the American schedule. They drive, I ride. Okay. <laughs> Sounds fair. How you wish. So, any any like trading related questions? As always, when there's no um, what's the word I'm looking for, when there's no strategy in discussion, I always have open this. It's the old uh, the DT two, the DWL two, the dynamic. I don't know, D Dynamic Edge. It's got many, many different names depending on where you found me from. Um, and it, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. It still works. It was born in 2015, 16 maybe. That's when it was born. It's 2023 now. So this is like seven or eight years old. And there are still companies in London, well, there is a company in London selling it. There are other companies using it. And I still get asked about it from time to time. Um, that's the reality. One good strategy and the smarts to use it. Pretty much all you need. Okay, my lovelies, in the absence of questions, I'll end the recording and uh, get this uploaded to YouTube as quick as I possibly can. I'll share the links in the groups. Trade safe, everybody. And I look forward to seeing you on the live one in the morning where we will be trading together. If you're trading tonight, trade safe then until then. Thanks, everybody. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow.